burnout is a really big problem for artists and crafters and handmade entrepreneurs during this pandemic. I'm Allie Thompson with Creative Success Secrets and let's talk about self-care. This is the biggest issue I see amongst um, my posse members. Um, and those are all just artists and crafters and handmade entrepreneurs who are looking to grow their business on Facebook. After COVID-19 started, they, the, I, I kept seeing people say, oh, I'm not as motivated and I, I just keep, I'm sleeping all the time and I'm having a hard time just getting up and going. And so one of the first things we talked about, um, besides don't panic, right? We talked about don't panic, things happen. Like this, this is a thing that's happening now. We, we're gonna get through it together. One of the first things I wanted to talk about with them though was self-care. Um, Cause I know for me, when, when we found out that our state was in lockdown, so we're in Ohio and we were one of the first states. In fact, I think we were even before California before we had a whole lot of cases. And our state's done really well. I'm very proud of our governor for shutting things down as quickly as what he did. So when when that happened, um, my schedule in, in my business is that I, I schedule events, not events, but like um, teaching and coaching calls the first three weeks of the month. And then the last week, I don't schedule any teaching or coaching calls. I still work, I get caught up on other things. So every once in a while, there's a fifth week. And in March, there happened to be what I call a fifth week. So it was a, you know, you get paychecks, you know, there's that that weird week in, in between where you kind of get three paychecks in one month rather than two. So it's kind of like that. So there was that extra week. And so I had two full weeks where I did not have coaching calls. I did not have to record training. Um, I didn't have any programs that I was having to administer. And that was, that happened, uh, our, our state went on lockdown like a week before those two weeks were in, in place. And man, I got to tell you, I needed those two weeks. I definitely needed those two weeks. And I'm very, very grateful and thankful that everything happened right before those two weeks. Because this pandemic, this, this virus that we are all dealing with, even if you feel relatively safe, even if you're in a state where maybe there aren't a lot of cases, we're in a county where we've had a total of 10 cases, one, one fatality, 10 cases. And so our county is fairly safe. We've done good with the social distancing as far as I can tell, although my neighbors just had Easter dinner and they had cars lined up and like, what are you doing? Um, but we've, we've been doing pretty well and, and I'm very happy with, with, you know, I feel fairly safe in the environment that we're in. I also work from home. We already homeschool. So this wasn't really that different for us. And maybe you're the same way. Maybe you were already home. Maybe you don't have kids at home. Perhaps it didn't really change up your schedule a lot. So there's a, a big group of you out there that are that way. You are already home. You're already doing things this way. And then there's another group of you where things change dramatically, right? Like, like your whole world was sent upside down. But for me, there wasn't a big change in my day to day. And yet I was tired. I was going to bed early. I was sleeping in. I was groggy. I was, I was foggy. I, I was, I was just not myself for the good, for good, almost two weeks. And that's because there's this underlying stress to this entire thing, right? Life is not going on as normal, even though it may feel normal in my home, it's not really that much different. We realize that life is very abnormal across the board, right? We can't just go to the movies anytime we want or go out to eat anytime we want. We can't go to the zoo. We can't go to the, the amusement park. We can't go to shows. We can't set up at shows. We can't sell at shows. We can't buy at shows. So there are all of these things that kind of add up that we know that that life has changed and, and life has maybe changed forever. And there's a little bit of a sense of dread. Some people are getting some anxiety. And, and just an underlying stress to the whole thing. So even if you're not afraid, even if there's not something happening to you directly, you're going to be affected by this simply because it's part of our culture, it's part of the news, it's part of our life right now. So self-care in this time 
is so, so, so important to get us through that. And, and the first, the first thing you need to know about step care, number one, or self care, number one is realize that everybody else is going through it. Okay. You are not alone. You are not the only one out there like, oh, everybody else seems to be doing great. Yeah. Everybody's doing great on social media. Right. Um, you are not the own, not, not alone, not by a long shot. I just did a coaching call with um, some of my elite members and um, one of the ladies came on a little bit late. She said, I wasn't going to come on because I've been so depressed. She said, but I figured, you know, I figured it was just me. I figured that I was just, you know, being sensitive about things. She said, but I decided to come on anyhow. And everybody on the call reassured her, it is not just you. We are all feeling it. We are all feeling that that something just is not right in our world. So realize you're not alone. You are not alone. Everybody is stressed. The second biggest thing is to give yourself some grace and give yourself some space. I had to give myself that space for about two weeks to just digest what was going on, get a handle on it, deal with my anxiety, um, since anxiety and depression does run in my in, in my mom's side and my mom and my dad's side of the family, actually, um, I realized that I got to step back right now and and just process this, because if I try to pretend that I'm not feeling these feelings, then it's going to eat at me and it's going to drag me down and giving myself the, that grace of, yeah, you're just going to sit and watch Netflix all day today. Like that's that's what we're going to do right now because that's that's what I need in order to just decompress and to deal with my feelings. Um, we can pick up on more things a little bit later, but right now I just need to rest. Okay, so give yourself some grace. Give yourself some space. Um, be forgiving of yourself if you're not on top. If you're not on top of the homeschooling, trust me. Even homeschool moms are not on top of the homeschooling. You know they're they're gonna survive. They're gonna survive. They'll be okay. I promise you. If they don't learn their fourth grade math perfectly by the end of the year, they will. They will still get into college. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Um, your business, you might might have dropped a couple of 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 balls on that. It's gonna be okay. You can bounce back. You can get it back. You can refocus. Okay. But for them. For the moment, it's just let the balls drop and focus on yourself a little bit. All right. So that's the second thing. Third thing, get plenty of rest. Just just sleep if you feel like you need to sleep. And I don't mean this for long term. If, if this is going on for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, then you may have a depression on your hands. And I'm not, you know, I'm not a therapist. I can't help you with that. But our body is is under stress. And so it's using up a level of energy that we're not even aware of. That anxiety is using up energy. We may need to take a few naps. We may need to sleep in a little bit. Um, I normally like to get up earlier, but since this has happened, I'm like, I'm not going to push myself. Not yet. Um, I'm going to allow myself the sleep that I know that I need. On the flip side, do try to get to bed early. Try not to stay up late. If you can get to bed earlier, that's going to help you get even more sleep so you don't have to sleep in as far in the morning. But you get most of your restorative sleep when you sleep, uh, get to bed early. So my goal is between 9 and 10. I'm not always making it. <laughs> Sometimes it's like 11 to 12. Um, but I'm giving myself some grace on those days. And then I'm like, all right, tomorrow I'm going to try to get to bed by, by 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Um, and, and I've generally been pretty good about that, being able to get to bed a little bit earlier, getting good sleep. And then I feel more refreshed and more restored in the morning than if I go to bed late and sleep in further in, into the morning. So get rest. That's number three. Um, number four, make sure you're having some fun. Make sure, sure, sure you are having some fun. Um, playing games with the kids, playing, playing, um, games with the, with the spouse, um, even if it's just laughing and joking with people over a Facebook call, have some fun. This is a very serious time um, and there are very serious consequences to this virus. But if we live in super, super serious and, and down and depression through this whole thing in order to be solemn, then it is going to affect us as, as people as well. And 
Um, it's going to sap your motivation. It's going to give you a very pessimistic look on the world. And it's not going to help your business. And it's not going to help you, right? So if if you are very pessimistic and looking down because you know of the seriousness of the situation, then it's hard to look at and find opportunities in your business and, and to be in a growth mindset when it comes to your business. So take time out to have some fun. Laughter is some of the best medicine as far as lifting your mood and, and increasing your immune system. So you have that added benefit as well. Laughter and fun and just it's a great way to relax and just let everything go. Um, next, get some form of exercise. You need to move around. I took up a daily yoga routine. Um, so I, I was going to do a 30 day challenge, but I'm like, really, what's the difference? Let's do a 90 day challenge. Like, it's like, not like we're leaving the house anytime soon, anyhow. <laughs> um, so either do a walking challenge or a yoga challenge, or if you have other, um, um, like, uh, what is like P90X? I don't know what all that stuff is called, but if you've had those tapes sitting on the shelf for forever and you've never taken action, um, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to pull them out, get active, because that, again, it's going to get your blood flowing. It's going to get your endorphins going. Um, it's going to help you sleep better at night. It's going to get that stress out of your body. Yes, exercise is good for business. Sleep is good for business. Having fun is good for business because if we are overwhelmed, if we are too stressed to be able to handle what is coming at us with our business on the business side, then we're not going to, our business is not going to survive through this pandemic. We are not going to be able to adapt like we need to. We are not going to be able to, um, make decisions that are going to help us move forward versus, you know, being tired and, and sullen and um, just stressed out, stressed out. A stressed out business owner is not a good business owner. You do not make good decisions under stress. So that was number five. Number six is eat well, eat well. Um, it, again, it's a little tough right now. Number one, we're stressed. So macaroni and cheese and chips and chocolate sounds really good. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, it does sound really good. But on the flip side, if you're eating a bunch of junk and putting that junk into your into your body, you're not your your body, it's like a it's like a race car with a gummed up engine. You know, you put the wrong fuel in the engine, it gets all gunked up and it can't do what it needs to do in order to win the race. So even if, you know, you're not ready to overhaul your diet and, and it can be, again, tough, depending on what groceries we have accessibility to, um, what grocery stores are open near us, um, how often we're able to shop, that is definitely going to impact how well, because I like a lot of fresh fruit, but we're not grocery shopping as much, so I can't get it as much. And so, yeah, my diet has suffered because of this, but I try to be mindful and add more of the um, whole grains and like sweet potatoes and whole potatoes and, and, you know, put restrictions on how much of the junk food that I'm actually going to eat. So I just, I'm mindful of it every day. Again, giving myself some grace. Um, I'm, I'm tired of the junk food. Honestly, I'm sick of it. I'm ready to go back to like just fruits and vegetables and, and rice and beans and all of that good stuff. Um, so just be mindful. Even if you cannot completely overhaul your diet, just be mindful. Pay attention to how you feel when you eat because how you feel is going to affect the type of work you do in your business. Um, and it's going to affect how well you do it, how clearly you can problem solve and how much stamina you're going to have to get again through this pandemic. So that was number six. Number seven, try to reduce your stress as much as possible. Again, this is a tough one. It's all over our Facebook feed. It's all over the news. Turn the TV off. Turn the radio off. Um, I even turned YouTube off for the most part uh, because when I would try to watch a video, it would then just autoplay news about coronavirus. I'm like, I don't want to hear about that right now. That's not where I want to go. I do check the news once every morning. Um, when I wake up, I check real quick, check the headlines, make sure there's there's nothing big that I need to be aware of. My mom watches the news, so she'll usually call me and say, hey, I don't know if you saw what was going on. Um, but turn off the news. Turn it off. Get it off your computer. Um, there are uh, apps for Google Chrome that will actually block 
access to certain sites. So if you're kind of a news junkie, I am, I'm a news junkie. So I had to do this to myself. I blocked all of my news sites, the ones that I normally go to. I blocked all of my news sites and I blocked YouTube. Uh, the app that I'm using is called Stay Focused and it will actually shut everything down. It will shut, it will shut the site down and won't let me have access to it tomorrow. Um, now I check the news on my phone. I don't have it blocked there, although I did uninstall a bunch of news apps. Um, I check it on Google, but I don't use my phone a lot during the day, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, having access to it on the phone, I'm not likely to pick up the phone to, to do that. So that works for me. The other app that I'm using right now is called um, um, Newsfeed Blocker, and that actually blocks my Facebook newsfeed, so I don't see everybody's posts. I can still do business on my Facebook page. I can still do business on my Facebook groups. Um, I can go and read those feeds when I go to that page or that group. Um, I can still message people. I can still find my friends and family and see what's on their newsfeed. But my personal newsfeed, I can use Facebook all of those ways, but my personal newsfeed is blocked. And that has been a game changer for me to not get distracted by everybody getting, you know, having opinions about things. Now I've had mine blocked since, let's see, September, October, October or November. I think it was October or November when I blocked my newsfeed. Best business decision I ever made. Best business decision I ever made. And so if you don't have your newsfeed blocked, you may want to start blocking it now. Uh, so, so you can reduce how much of the COVID news you get. Because all of that news is adding to the stress. We need to do anything possible to reduce that stress and and have a calmer life. Um, so number, I think that was, yeah, I think that was number seven. Um, lastly, number eight, stay connected with people. Stay connected with people. Um, yes, family and friends, obviously family and friends, but also stay connected with other entrepreneurs. Stay connected with other entrepreneurs who are committed to their business and, and growing and looking for the positive side of, of the situation that we're in. Because while there are a lot of negatives, we're not going to get out of this dwelling on the negatives. We've got to get out looking at what can we do? How can we continue to grow our business? How can we be a better service to our customers? Um, how can we make products that are even better for our customers? How can we adapt and evolve and find new opportunities for our business that we may not have seen before had we were not forced to see them through coronavirus? So stay connected with other people. I know with my Posse members, for us, it's been, it, it means really staying connected as a group um, in our Facebook group, in the private Facebook group, um, being there for each other staying upbeat and and not allowing the negativity to dwell in there. Um, if there's a problem, then when you come to the group, you ask for a solution. We're very solution oriented. We're very growth oriented. We want to help support each other as a community. Um, it's, it's a fabulous thing to be a part of. If you belong to a community like that, that's great. Um, make sure you're active in there. Um, one of the things we decided to do in Posse is actually have through the month of April networking calls every Tuesday night where Posse members can meet each other and talk and really connect with one another. So that's a lot of fun and, and it does allow people to go a little bit deeper than just like seeing them in the Facebook group. So if you don't have a community like that, Posse is open for membership right now. Um, we decided to open up the doors and do a 30 day trial for anybody out there that's struggling right now, whether you're struggling with the self care or you're struggling with um, how to grow your business online. We know that this is a scary time for a lot of business owners, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, handmade entrepreneurs, artists and crafters are actually in a very unique position to be able to grow their business right now as long as they take care of themselves and they're surrounded by a group of people that help support them in that goal. So we offer now a 30 day trial to Posse. You get 30 days access to everything. If you join in April of 2020, um, you can take part in some of those networking calls. You get access to all of the training, the resources, the tools, everything. You're a full fledged Posse member 
during the 30 day trial. And that's only $7. It's only $7 to take the trial of Posse. We would love to see you guys in there. It is my goal to help a thousand businesses grow on Facebook through 2020. Um, and Posse is the vehicle I use to accomplish that goal. Help as many of you guys as I can um, get through this hard time. Because we, if we go through it together, we're going to be stronger. If you try to go through it alone, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I am leaning heavily on my own support systems and the posse members are leaning heavily on each other in order to get through this. So take care of yourself, rest, have fun, eat well, exercise, try to reduce yourself and get connected with the group. If you want the 30 day posse trial, look for the link. It's either above this video or below this video or in the comments, wherever it ended up. Um, and I, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Bye.